Welcome back to Sledhead 24-7. We've reviewed the Groom Trail snowmobiles. Now we're going to head over to the Rough Trail snowmobiles. What is the Rough Trail segment we're going to talk about? That's for the guys or gals that want to absolutely bang ditches. They want to hit the biggest, hardest bumps. They want to find the most gnarly stuff that nobody else wants to go on to. That's the stuff that you're only going to be able to take for a half hour, hour, unless you're really in good shape. The ditch bangers are get on it, ride as hard as you possibly can for an hour, and then rest for the next two. Let's go check them out. The runner up for Rough Trail Sled of the Year is the Polaris Rush. This is a snowmobile that everybody wanted to ride. This has had all the buzz in the compound to snowshoot, the Polaris Rush. First impressions were incredible. The engine, the 600 Polaris Twin, goes without saying, it's one of the most, if not the best, 600 engine there is. Linear power, pulls solid from the bottom all the way up to the top. The engine is an absolute proven winner. What do you think, Dan? This sled is a fun sled to ride. You get on it, and the things that this sled will do compared to the other sleds, going through the rough, total terrain domination, the uncoupled rear suspension, the easy adjust rear, the front clickers on the front. What's so neat is the rear suspension. This is what the big buzz is. This is what the hype is. The adjustable rear shock, I love this on here. You can adjust this shock for dampening. It's got 18 different positions on it. When you get on it, you can adjust this collar for your weight. So you come back on, you take this little gauge that they have here, Put it on, and wherever the weight winds up is on the red. Right now on that red, you can see it's set for 190 pounds. Say you're 160, grab it, turn the nut till it reaches 160. Talk about adjustability, it doesn't take, and I'm not exaggerating, it is not a two minute adjustment. And we adjusted it dozens of times to get it exactly where we want it. The only drawback to this snowmobile I could find is the valving in the shocks had a window in it that was too narrow from soft to hard. We couldn't get the balance even with one click. It was too much or too little. That's the only drawback to this snowmobile. And now for our 2010 Rough Trail Sled of the Year, the Skidoo MXZX 600 E-Tech. There's incredible technology. It uses very little gas compared to any other two-stroke. Very little oil. There's no smoke, very little emission. The engine has very, very smooth throttle pull. When you're pulling the throttle, almost effortless throttle pull. A lot of changes in the front suspension. I think Dan's got some of those for us. That's what I really like is the recalibrated front suspension. They got the KYB shocks up front with the external adjustability. They have the stiffer spring rate, which helps reduce diving in the front end when you're letting off the throttle. This thing really goes into the corner well this year. The age-old question, two-stroke or four-stroke? Finally, there's an answer. Yes, because if you want superior acceleration and handling, unbeatable fuel economy, and virtually no smoke or smell, now, two-stroke or four, you can ride the best, ski -Doo. Celebrating 50 years of snowmobile reinvention. To see how our new sleds stack up against the competition, go to ski now. ski -Doo. better rides, better riders.